Then what is special about the story of Amir al sleeping in the bed to defend Rasulullah? Which one is more difficult, fighting in the battlefield or sleeping in the bed? Even if you know that you're going to be killed, you'll be killed while sleeping in the bed. But facing the enemy and physically fighting and struggling against the enemy is much harder than, than sleeping in a bed. Correct? Then, is this a special status for Amir al muminin Or no, you just say, as mentioned by some Sunni scholars, he can be mentioned, Amir al muminin can be included as one of the examples of those who sacrificed himself for the sake of Allah. And that's it. Do you get the question? Does anyone want to answer the question? The circumstance of time? You yeah, have. The danger that was on Islam. No, no, the same danger on Islam today. Or well, maybe the danger is, was more today in certain places. The sisters, anyone want to answer? No? Okay, I'll, I'll give the answer, all right? So we don't waste time. Because some of the brothers told me to give a short lecture. I believe in the time the incident took place makes it unique, as you said. Let's use the example that we mentioned previously. When people followed the orders of a certain marja in Iraq, they did so to protect their country. They followed the order of this marja to defend the people from terrorism. Correct? When thousands sacrificed themselves in Syria, they did that to protect a sacred place, which is the shrine of Sayyidina Zainab salam. And they did it to protect the people and to uh, prevent, the, prevent terrorism from expanding. Now, we don't doubt the sincerity of the martyrs and their, and their intention or the purity of their intention that they did it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But with that, there was something pushing them to fight. There was something pushing them to stand and defend their land, to defend the people. They did it to protect their land, to protect their families. They did it so, they, so their families can live in peace, so their families can live a comfortable life, and so on. Now come to the incident when Amir al-Mu'min slept in the bed of the Prophet When did it happen? It happened after 13 years of oppression in Mecca. For 13 years all the Muslims were being oppressed in Mecca by the arrogant powers. And the most house that was oppressed in Mecca is the house of Rasulullah that had Sayyidah Khadija and Amir al-Mu'min inside. So we can say that Amir al-Mu'min he struggled the most in Mecca for 13 years with Rasulullah and with Sayyidah Khadija After 13 years, the time came for Muslims to end this oppression as migration to the land, to the new land, meant the end of the difficulties and the hope of a new beginning for Muslims. When they heard about migrating to Medina, this was a hope for them to change the oppression that they went through for 13 years. Many Muslims were looking forward for this dreamland. Many families were waiting to live a new comfortable life. Some had a dream to receive some financial support from Rasulullah after he establishes his government. Some Muslims, they had uh, hopes of, of, of having some authority inside this government. At this time, Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam, he sacrificed not only his body, but all the worldly pleasures for the sake of Rasulullah sallallahu and for the sake of Allah. While everyone else was thinking about the worldly pleasures, Everyone was thinking about living in peace, living a comfortable life. Amir al the one who struggled the most, he was willing to sacrifice everything for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's what makes it unique. And that's what makes this incident special. 
Not only that he slept in the bed, the time that he slept in the bed makes it special. How many of us are willing to do this? Now if you work hard on something for years, five years, ten years, and you wait for the fruits of your movement, correct? You work hard and you wait for the fruits for it or the outcome of your movement. Then someone tells you before, you, before you taste the fruit of this movement, he tells you, go and be ready to sacrifice yourself. How would you react? You would tell him, go find someone else. I've struggled enough. I've worked so hard to, to see this outcome. Amir al-Mu'minin, he submitted to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa How many of us would be willing to do that if we are asked? 